Somebody has to do it. You're amazing. You're always taking care of other people. She is considered one of the Canadians to watch all over the world when it comes to young actresses who are bright, who are beautiful. She's from Toronto, and that movie is called Torontophilia. <laughs> We've been singing it all morning. Katie Bolin in the building. Oh, thank you. Good to see I'm so you. excited to be here. Thank you so much for having me. You are so beautiful. And uh, oh, there's sorry. many months of the year you are still living here, so you've tuned into the show. Yes, I love the show. I often watch it, and I think that you are a fabulous host. I paid her to say that. You'll have to come in more often. Talk to us about this film. Uh, it premiered. In in, uh, during the TIFF as well as Venice Film yes, Festival yeah. to a standing ovation, sold out crowd. It is very unconventional to say the least. Yes. Yes. Um, it's a film that's direct, it's called Drontrophilia and it's directed by Bruce LeBruce and it is about a normal young man who begins to work in an old folks home and has an unexpected connection there. And I think that the film is very tender and touching and it's a comedy and it's a love story and I'm really proud of it so it's great that it's premiering. And it was week. shot in Montreal, bonus. Yes, it's such a bonus, love Montreal. You loved it. Talk to us about this actor because he's an up and comer too. What was it yeah. like working with him? When he shot it, he was what? 18, 19? He was 18. Yeah. Um, that's Pierre Gabriel Lejoie, and he's a great young actor, and this was his first big role, and I think that it was a very brave role. It is. And since doing the movie, he's become like a top fashion model. Which is so good for him. Look, <laughs> yeah. you're like a proud mama, and she's only I 26. Feel, <laughs> I feel very proud of him. I, right? I think he's amazing. You've been, uh, you are already at 26, a veteran in this biz. You've taken on numerous TV shows, film roles. How do you decide when it comes to a film like this that this is something you wanted to be a part of? What was it? I thought the script was phenomenal and I really respected Bruce and wanted to work with him. Does he let you do your thing as an actress or how is he to work with? He's wonderful to work with. He's very laid back and he doesn't give a ton of direction and he just says what he means and, and now I consider him a really great friend. So. And he's, he's you know, known for taking a risque taboo topics but in this one he really wanted to venture out from what he has been doing in the past mm -hmm. and he wanted to make this like you said a mainstream story even though it is considered taboo it's yes. in a tender way to get you thinking outside the box when yes. it comes to love yes so what do you hope people take away from this and who would you say this is geared towards I think everyone could watch this film and take something away from it um, my whole family came to see it during TIFF and they're all different ages and they all really liked it yeah and I think that people should take away from the film just to love people while you can and while you have them in your life very good talk to us a little bit about the other projects you have on the go I'm exhausted thinking about all the work you do <laughs> And when do you have time to do it? Like web series, novels, Huffington right. Post journalist. I mean, right. check, 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 check. <laughs> do you love having everything brewing all at once? I mean, you yes. clearly have a lot to give and share. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah. yeah. No, I, I really like being busy. Um, and I think that I seem busier than I am. Like, I do spend a lot of time just on Facebook, so. Well, that's good. What's <laughs> yeah. wrong with that? You say <laughs> that like it's nothing. a bad In fact, yeah. we need to upload your twit pic to hashtag BT Samsung and get you in the square today with everybody oh, else, yes, okay? yes, I love that. Very I good, because I know you were selling, uh, celebrating Canada Day yesterday, yes. so we'll just cheat it by a couple of hours. Okay, perfect. So what's coming up next, and what could we be seeing you in or reading your work? I know you have a, a novel coming out. Yeah, um, my book came out last year, and it's called Eat Your Heart Out, and it's a collection of short stories. Mm -hmm. um, I write a column called What's Actually Happening with People My Age for the Huffington Post. And what is actually happening with people your age, Katie? <laughs> Let's talk about a that. A lot. <laughs> yeah, a In lot. 20 seconds, what is happening with people your age, your generation? Uh, I, yeah. No, I think it's I think it's a generation where a lot is. is changing, and there's a lot of different things that are true for different people. A lot of things coming at you all at once, and the collection yeah. of short stories is pretty much a collection of your thoughts based on. Uh, it's thematically life about stories. heartbreak, so it's just about a lot of different types of people who are dealing with being heartbroken, including yourself. That's where it came from. Is Katie is Katie single? I am single. Yeah. Gentlemen, you're welcome. <laughs> Follow her at Come Katie Boland. Yeah. Do you like Canadian boys or oh, do you like? Of course. Yeah, I only date Canadians. Really? Yeah. I love that you're so true to your Canadian roots. Yeah, a lot of people immediately go to all things stateside right. when it comes to Hollywood. No, just Canadian boys. Why is that important to you to stay here and to to date Canadians? Oh, Canada is the best country in the world, and I think we're so blessed to live here. Yeah. And I just love it. And I think Toronto is in its most exciting time ever. I agree. How do you stay so level-headed in this crazy La La Land business that you're immersed oh, in? Oh, that's sweet. Well, my mom and I are really good friends, and she's also in the film industry, and we work together. Uh, we have a production company together, so that helps. And I've been doing it for so long. Yeah. Because most parents worry about that when their kids say, I want to get yeah. into the business 
too. Yes. But I guess she felt that you were responsible enough and that you have the right head on your shoulders to go in. Yes. She was like not that interested in me being an actress, but I begged her enough and she <laughs> let me. And you yeah. have to love it and your passion comes through in your work. Yeah. Thank you so much. You're Thank a sweetheart. You. Thank See you. See it this weekend. Gerontophilia actually opens up this Friday at TIFF Bell Lightbox. I love it over there. Yeah. Uh, TIFF.net to screen it. And also you can follow everything that you're doing at Katie Boland on Twitter, on Facebook too, apparently. Yeah. And where else can we look up any of your work? KatieBoland.com. Perfect. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so Continued much. Continued success. So nice you to see you. You are a sweetheart. Thanks right now we're going to throw things over to Kevin Frankish in the newsroom.